Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall. Uh, this is being recorded for Monday, uh, June 27th. Uh, recorded a few days early as I'm enjoying a few days of vacation. Um, our week will focus on um, the blessings of baptism. When we started uh, these morning prayers uh, a few years ago, uh, it was at a time when we were not gathering um, for regular public worship. And so we often would uh, take time, uh, you know, studying different scripture passages, things that were coming up in worship online. Um, but we also, over the years, have utilized this um, for review uh, as we um, take the old truths of, of scripture uh, as confessed in our catechism and um, review them. And so this week we will take a look at the four questions of baptism again with our prayer that God would help us um, and bless us with a deeper appreciation of the blessings of our baptism then, now, and into the future. So we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Of course, that is the recalling of our baptism with those simple words. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. The institution of baptism. First, what is baptism? Baptism is not just plain water, but it is water used by God's command and connected with God's word. Which is that word of God? Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When Luther begins the simple question of what is baptism, he turns to none other than our Lord's words um, in, in the Great Commission. Um, this is what baptism is. This is God's placing his name on us. This is God's word connected to water. And in so doing, you are given a promise. You are given a promise that your God um, is not a God who is turned against you, but a God who is for you. You are given a promise that as the prophet Joel says, and as St. Paul reiterates in Romans chapter 10, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that is true of you now, and that is true of you on your last day as well. To be baptized into his name, Luther relates in his large catechism, is to be baptized not by human beings, but by God himself. Although it is performed by human hands, it is truly God's own act. And so here is the trustworthy nature of baptism. It belongs to him, and he stands behind it, and he stands behind it for you. Now, can we think of some benefits that come from having that name placed on us? Well, we'll talk tomorrow about the blessings of baptism, but simply to think about his name. There's a reason that we begin the divine service and we hear the pastor say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the pastor makes a sign of the cross. And of course, Luther says in the catechism, you're free to trace that on yourself or not. But that cross, once given to you in your baptism, is now spoken as we come together as a family of believers. We wear a name there together. 
together, community, old and young, tall and short, uh, with all of our different strengths and all of our different weaknesses, with all of our different last names and characteristics. You think of how much variety there is in a human family, how much more so in the family of believers. But we come together as one. We come together as the baptized. We come together to hear his name spoken on us again and to return to him our praise and our thanks. You think about what that name means for us as we face this Monday. We do not face it alone, nor do we face it with some God who floats around um, nebulously uh, with us in some 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 sort of way that we can't can't figure out. No, the God has actually uh, placed His name on us in baptism. He's the one who goes with us, baptized into Christ Jesus. This is how we face this day as the baptized, as the one who have his promise, as the one who have certainty. And this, the last thing to emphasize, is a present tense reality. Not I was baptized November 27th, 1977 by Pastor James Rockoff in East Tawas, Michigan or Tawas City, Michigan. Well, that is certainly true. I was baptized at that time. This is a present reality. I am baptized. These baptismal waters go with me today and every day till traveling days are over. I have access to the Father through my brother Jesus Christ. Baptized into his death, I have a new way to live this day. And so um, maybe that uh, has a little bit of uh, blessing on you this day as you live and move and have your being in the name of the triune God who saves and wearing that name with Paul's words ringing in your ears, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, <clears throat> our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you have prepared joys beyond understanding for those who love you. Pour into our hearts such love for you, that, loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.
trust in my 